Hi, I'm Julia Bell, and today I'm going to be talking about the Alive Inside documentary. Um, so pretty much the basis of the documentary was that it followed a man named Dan, who was a researcher, I believe, and he was giving patients with Alzheimer's and dementia um, headphones to listen to music. And it was pretty much just how music and their memory connects. So one of the first scenes of the film um dan gave this patient henry i don't remember if he had alzheimer's or dementia headphones or first he it showed henry talking to his daughter he couldn't remember his daughter he wasn't really speaking and they gave henry the headphones and he listened to music and he was able to recall things about his past being a paper boy when he was a kid etc and even just him listening to the music he completely switched his mood from the original or from the beginning of the scene to when after they gave him the music he was singing and he was like leaving his body um also right in the beginning there's this patient maureen and um the nurse or her caretaker was talking about how maureen didn't open her eyes didn't move never got up didn't talk nothing um and after they gave her the headphones she was moving around in her bed um it just really it like as that was the first like part of the documentary and it was crazy to see like how much of a reaction they got out of it because it went from just being like blank and like kind of emotionless to so happy and dancing and being able to recall or being able in henry's case to talk about him being a paper boy in the past um and throughout the duration of the documentary you don't even just see the headphones and the music being given to alzheimer's and dementia patients there there's this one patient um denise she was bipolar and uh, schizophrenic and they gave her the headphones and she was getting up and dancing she actually threw her walker to the side and um the man who was doing the voiceover said that she hadn't gotten rid of her walker in months. She pushed it to the side just so she could get up and dance with Dan. Um, just, like, the way that the music made them feel, it really, like, it just crazy how much of a switch there was. Um, there was also a patient that was given headphones. Um, he had multiple sclerosis, and even his mood just changed instantly um so based off of that seeing all of the like good things that came out of the music pretty much the push with Dan the whole time was to get music therapy in all nursing homes instead of making them using these crazy hardcore drugs or medications just having the music with them did so much for their mental health and like motivation to get up and do something and dance and talk and whatever um so it was really interesting seeing that struggle with Dan for the whole time because it is so expensive I mean the documentary was made in 2014 to get headphones and um iPods for um all nursing home patients across America and whatever so I'd be interested to see now what it's like with the mobile phones and headphones are so cheap you get them at the dollar store now like I'd wonder to see how much his progress in that initiative has gone um one of my favorite parts of the documentary was Mary Lou um Mary Lou again she had dementia or Alzheimer's I can't remember but she was a little bit more high functioning um than per se Henry um and she uh, they showed her in the she was in her home and um, Dan gave her the headphones and she started listening to music and she just bursted out crying and she actually said the quote that's the best thing I've ever had as a music and she was just getting up and dancing you just see her struggling like trying to push the elevator buttons struggling so much to being given the headphones and her whole mood completely changes and she's so happy and she's up and she's dancing um and even Denise with the musician, Denise was a bipolar schizophrenic. There was a scene where she was listening to um, this man play some sort of instrument. I, I don't know what it was, but she was touching his face and just so happy. She ended up giving him the necklace. It was just a touching moment. Like, you don't see 
that kind of connection with patients with dementia or schizophrenia with somebody else and seeing like the love she had for this man just because he was playing music was crazy um so pretty much my um how this connects to ot so it's all about ot like the whole foundation what i've learned at least throughout my full first year as a freshman ot student is that ot is really focused on the person their own personal ideals their own personal goals it's really client-centered client focused so having something like music something that makes them happy their music taste because music is so wide their music what makes them happy what brings back their past emotions is so much more helpful in OT than medications or drugs. It's really connecting to that person, what that person loves, which was really inspiring and made me want to pursue the path of OT even more, just like how it is so person-focused, like how much of an impact just music or art or movies or anything can make on a person rather than hard drugs or medication. Um, my grandpa, my dad's dad, um, recently within the last year was diagnosed with dementia. Um, and I immediately reached out to my dad and said, you have to show this, um, you have to watch this documentary. I think it's so cool. Um, just like connecting to that with my own personal experience with being the beginning stages of dementia, at least. Um, it was just really inspiring to watch and like just made me so happy seeing how happy they were listening to music and how it brought up so many past memories um and my brother has um he's on autism spectrum disorder he has autism spectrum disorder and he went to music therapy his whole life and just seeing how that has taught him to express himself better um, or just even learn how to speak, really. That's how he really learned how to speak was through singing and music. Um, and we feel like as a society in America, like science and everything, especially with uh, COVID, I think, in the last few years, that medicine can fix anything. But really, medicine can't fix everything. And just being personally happy and motivated and like with the music can do so much more for your mental health and just personal self in the long run than any medication and I think Dan really showed that in his research with the documentary that these people I keep going back to Henry but he was talking to his daughter in the beginning and he couldn't remember her or at least he didn't say he anything to her um but the second they gave him the music and he's Dan asked him to take his headphones off and asked him about his past he could he was immediately talking about how he was a paper boy and how that song made him feel and simple words but still more words than he got in the beginning um and even Maureen she was bedridden sitting in her bed not moving not talking not even opening her eyes and they gave her the music and she was moving in her bed dancing along the, her nurse or caretaker got so emotional because you can really see the impact that it has on the person seeing that they're people um and i think that's how it also all connects back to ot because you're working with the person you're working with the client what their ideals are what their likes are what their needs are not it's not all like mush like you have to like focus on the individual person their sense of their taste in music their favorite movies their they like art if they like car like it doesn't matter like you're focusing on the person so i thought that um, this documentary was very inspirational and really pushed me to want to do OT more and really showed the power of music therapy and its wide range, not just dementia, not just Alzheimer's, but schizophrenia, mul- multiple sclerosis. Those were just the things showed in the film, I can't imagine. And I've seen personally with ASD the effects of music therapy, and I can't imagine the wide range that it actually has so it was very inspirational I really recommend this movie to anybody and it was a great documentary